fireworks in the courtroom. Donald Trump delivering his own closing argument in his Manhattan civil fraud trial today. Facing the prospect of losing control of his namesake company and a massive civil penalty, Mr. Trump briefly took matters into his own hands, declaring himself an innocent man, delivering a nearly five-minute speech, largely grievances against the New York Attorney General and the judge overseeing the case, whom he accused of having his own agenda. All that forcing Judge Arthur N. Gorin, who previously resisted granting the former president permission to speak in closings, to call on Mr. Trump's attorneys to, quote, control their client. They don't have any evidence against us. Millions and millions of pages, years of litigation, and all politically motivated. The surreal scene in court today playing out just hours after police responded to a bomb threat at Judge N. Gorin's home. The judge having become a target months ago after deciding the heart of the state's case against Mr. Trump, his sons and the Trump organization, finding them liable for fraud. The attorney general's office now asking for a $370 million civil penalty against Trump for ill-gotten gains, alleging his company intentionally exaggerated the value of some of its most well-known real estate properties like Mar-a-Lago and 40 Wall Street to receive better loans from banks. We have produced evidence about the scope, the scale, the depth, the breadth of the illegality the fraud that impersonally enriched Donald Trump. Mr. Trump said in court today the banks got all their money back as his defense team implored the judge not to impose the corporate death penalty for what they call a victimless crime. Arguments Judge and Gorin previously rejected in his September summary judgment decision. Laura joins me from outside the courthouse tonight. Laura, what happens next in this case? Well, Esther, now the judge has to determine liability on several remaining claims, including falsification of business records, insurance fraud, as well as conspiracy. Of course, the judge also has to determine the ultimate penalty, if any. And Lester, he's doing this all by himself, as this is a bench trial. He said today he hopes to have a written decision by the end of the month, Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.